what's going on everybody here at Pohick Bay. This is going to be a back nine vlog. Playing by myself, working on some swing changes, so just want to see how it goes on the course. So if you look at my old swing, it's more of a flip, right hip goes up, and I have to like scoop through impact. So I'm looking for a little pause at the top, you know, more of like a Hideki feel, that way it gives my arms more time to come, slow my hips down. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so it was a good swing. The ball just didn't go anywhere because I'm basically pausing and slowing down my swing right now, trying to get this feel in. So this is probably playing 180. I'm going to hit a 5-iron, which is a club and a half, probably too much. But that way it stops me from trying to swing hard and out of my shoes. So I actually might move up to the white tees to make this a little easier. A little too much cut that's going to be in the bunker hey everybody thanks for tuning in so yeah i'm working on some swing changes that i know in the long run will probably pay off making me more consistent so the goal today is to just play within myself and actually stick to those changes so i actually don't care about score too much but that's why i'm going to move up to the white tees make it a little easier on myself take some pressure off of having to hit some bombs sometimes so we'll see how it goes I got downhill right to left of the safe bar. Alright, that's a bogey. Okay, so we've made the move to the white tees for convenience sake to keep me with the right feels. I'm gonna hit a Easy seven iron. I got a 25, 30 footer here. Up the hill, right to left. Thought I had that. Coming off a par there. We have the white tees all the way up today. I think this is like 280 to the green. It's uphill though. This kind of makes me want to give this one a rip, but I'll give it a gentle rip to try and focus on what I'm trying to trying to do today. Go, go, go. Dead straight, put a little fade. We'll see where that is. I think it's like 20, 30 yards short. Okay, so my ball did land in the fairway, probably 30 yards short to where this pin is in the back. So try and wedge this close, get out with the birdie. Bit of an awkward lie there from the fairway, but got about 20 feet here for birdie. It's gonna be sliding. Downhill putt, give it a run. It's a good roll there. Cool. Par five. If I hit the same tee shot I just hit on the last hole, that'll be perfect and give me a chance to get there in two. Switching back to a good ball. I was using a bad ball because I was expecting to lose some today, but I need to see what's actually going to happen. So practice how you play. It's 
So I hit that one up into the trees on the right. Not by much though, so hopefully it kicked down. To the left is a big hill right here. So we'll see what I have, but probably ruined my chance of getting there in two. And I lied, my ball is right here. So I'm in the perfect spot actually now. You can see the hill. I landed up there or hit the tree right there and then it just kicked down, rolled down right here. So let's give ourselves an eagle look. All right, I don't have my range right there, but I'm gonna say this is about 180 uphill, all uphill. Pins in the front of a three-tiered green. I'm gonna hit a four iron and just try and swing easy. Keep doing what I'm doing. Perfect if the distance is right. I lost it, but that was right at the flag. It took a bounce like 10 feet short. We are going to keep this one rolling just in case. You never know, it could be an albatross. I've come close actually on this same hole. It ripped out. I was like an inch away from an albatross, so. This hole has some magic for me. It is my favorite hole on the course. Like I said, that landed just short of the flag, maybe 10 feet, I'm assuming, and then it bounced forward. So we'll see what we're looking at when we get up here. Gonna keep this rolling just in case I just caught myself getting an albatross on camera. I doubt it, but you know, wishful thinking. Let's see what we got. Grab the putter. Walking up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I wonder how close that was. Yeah, I don't have the film crew like good, good, but you know, we're out here just the same. Got that left for Eagle. You can see my ball landed right there. Like I said, about 10 feet short. First eagle on the channel, I believe. All right, so first eagle on the channel. I think that's my first eagle of 2023. And for the record, the whites were all the way in the back, probably 10 yards in front of the blues. They're actually never on that box, but today they were, and we're walking off with an eagle. So that takes me to one under, because I bogeyed the first hole, so let's go. Par four, dog leg right. This is actually reachable. I've done it about four or five times, but coming off an eagle, don't want to do anything too crazy. Because now my goal is to shoot under par. Caught that a hair fat. Left of the bunker though. Eh. So I missed that just right of my target. Caught the little fatten off the toe though, so I'm not going to complain because I had a probably 130, 135 yard shot into the green here. Okay, so that actually went further than I expected it to. Don't really have the right club. That's probably 110 to the pin. Going to hit a half pitching wedge. Okay, so walking up to the green after that thin, terrible shot. That's my ball. A little downhill lie I'm gonna have. Pin over here. Let's try and get up and down. Side slope chip here. Just land it probably within three feet of the hole. It's probably gonna stop dead. Just try and get out of here with the par. Good save after that approach. Alright, so that was a big save there. Happy to escape with par. Like Tiger said, some of those par saves feel bigger than some birdie putts and that's one of them. Coming off an eagle at the last, last thing you want to do is walk up here and 
pop, uh, bogey a hole from 110 yards. So that one's out the way. Time to move on. And it just over the bunker. Oh, stayed up on the fringe. Thought that was gonna be really good. All right, 35 footer downhill, sliding left to right. I'm gonna leave the flagging on this one because I'm gonna need all the help I can get. That is a great putt. When I first hit that, I thought I was gonna come up 20 feet short, so. All right, we are holding firm here. This is number 16, still at one under. Normally an iron off this tee, but since I'm swinging a little easier, try to hit a nice three wood here. And up the right side, that actually might go over the tar path into the rough, but that was a good swing, just probably past the fairway. So I have about 130 here. Mud ball, ball's gonna be a little downhill lie. Hopefully that extra distance should get me there because with this smooth swing, something's telling me I should hit an eight, but we're gonna stick with a nine. Oh, right at it, the distance is right. <sighs> Two yards short. Came out very bouncy, but it's the par. All right, so that's another par that keeps me at one under with two to play on this nine. I think I barely stayed out. Got some overhanging branches here. It's about 120, left's rough. Plenty of room on the right. Bunker comes into play on the left. Just gonna try and punch an eight iron, keep it under these trees. Just on the fringe, probably left, left myself. 30, 35. All right, 30 footer here. Probably more like 35, 40 feet actually. It's gonna be uphill. Maybe break a little right to left. Putting through some friends, so just trying to get the pace right. Okay, so this is number 18. That tee shot was not good. I felt my old shallow move come in, which caused me to kind of flip at the bottom. But it's okay, I have a shot here. Give myself a look at birdie, maybe get one more. Shoot under par for this nine holes. All right, so we've got a ways to go here. We're just gonna try and get the ball back into play. Probably like 290 to the flag. Hole goes all the way over here to the left. Just gonna hit a three iron, try and get a shot. Good shot there. Okay, so the pin here is back middle, no room behind. So you kind of really just want to take the 25, 30 footer and just aim for the middle of the green. If you can get it back there, fine, but no way you can go long here. So like I said, can't go long. I'm guessing it's 130, 135. Gonna hit a knockdown easy nine iron.
<sighs> that might have caught that bunker. Off of that side slope, I thought it was gonna turn a little right for me. Cut its legs off and then let it trickle, or do you try and like bump? Get a chunk and run. I think I'm gonna try and spin one. Alright, we have a look to save far. It's gonna be downhill about 15 foot there, left to right. Once it gets past the flag, it's gonna to want to run completely off the green, so pace is everything here, but we wanna make this one. All right, so that's a bit of a sour ending to that round, but still even par for the back nine here, working on the new swing. It felt good. Can't wait to go home and watch it, see what it looks like. All right, after the round recap, even par for the nine holes, no birdies, an eagle, and two, two bogeys. So overall pretty good, especially swinging with, at what felt like. 65 70% but I know my impact position hopefully looks different I should have taken a couple down the line shots maybe I'll go to the range and just take a couple so I can have those to look at but I think things feel good I think this is the direction we're gonna go and if you like this video please like and subscribe for more there's gonna be a ton more content and I'm about to get some matches going <laughs>